Eight big kingdoms went to war over the hills in KVK. Everybody said, "Go, go, go!" But only three kings stayed in Perium. Ladus here. And um, so we had a family emergency and we missed a week. But now let's quickly catch up to date all together. So the biggest KVK, as it was built, let's see whether it lived up to expectation. Now, do you guys think it's time for Kingsland yet? No, not really. But it's gonna be really soon. Mhm. Mm but before Kingsland fighting starts. Let's see whether Kingsland is going to be the biggest fight, or is this KVK already over? And who has been the outshining kingdom in this big KVK? Oh yeah, I'm so excited! Okay, now let's start from the top. So on the top left-hand corner, we had Kingdom forty-six. Now. What has been? What has forty six been up to? Forty six has been up to a locking seventy five. <laughs> yes, so we are looking at the seventy five versus forty six side. Let's have a look. So where we left off, forty six forty six was trying to push seventy five in. There was a little bit of a presence from seventy five. There was a bit of a resistance, but few days into it, let's see if there is any fighting left. So. We can see that 75 on this side is pretty locked in. I can see a little bit of farm killing coming out of 75 side. So it's pretty much just farm killing that's taking place at the moment. There's no attempt to push out yeah. 46 at this stage. And they look like completely in control with all sorts of forts and flags and everything. Yeah, but I don't blame 75 because 56 was also pushing in 75. That's a lot of pressure. No, 56, since we're talking about it, 56 actually didn't need to do much. So 40, uh, 75 didn't try to come out on this side at all initially. So in the last few days, if they have, I'm not too sure, but in the last few days, they may have but initially 75 didn't try to come out at all and actually I, I don't think they did because if you look at the forts they're pretty much where we last checked which is completely covering 75 side at all now let's have a look if there's any fighting taking place here no there isn't oh 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 i see some two little tiny balls so there's a few yeah so there's a few few troops on this side of the pass and the, on the other side of the pass as well on 75 and 56 side but it's it's nothing meaningful it's just some uh, skirmishes little fights here and there maybe so the, the, this is not called a push so no 75 isn't pushing out this way now this I, is the end of 75 this probably is Poor now Chizkel's kingdom <laughs> now let's have a look at this rcf so i have a question for the viewers so m doesn't know the answer to this but let's see if the viewers can leave comments and teach m how this is done now see how that fortress is in a tiny little spot and this fortress has some areas that's disconnected but still belongs to this fortress now can anyone tell in the comment section how did 56 manage to do this fortress which has areas that's detached but still belongs to this fortress ah uh, i think i know okay let's see what the viewers say and then you can learn or verify whichever you want can i see what i think please okay you can I think that that place, they, while there was fighting, they may have made that fort to protect a few areas, but the other kingdom disconnected next to the fortress. That's why that one is gray. That's actually a good possible answer, but that's not exactly what happened there because those little areas doesn't belong to another kingdom. It actually belongs to that 
56 fortress it's a very tricky thing so when the viewers answer i will take you through that now let's have a look at on the other side of 46 now 46 locking in 75 not a surprise at all but this is where the surprise comes in so where we left off last time 74 had 46 borders completely logged in locked in with carpet flagging remember yes now let's have a look what's happening so liu that is actually 46 looks like 46 has pushed down a lot on this area i see a lot of big clumps of dead land yep and those dead land you those flags used to belong to 74 and now it doesn't and as you can see on the right hand side as well that's wib bia all of those are 46 alliances and they have pushed in quite a lot now this that is means 75 is Vanquish. Not 75, 74 on this side. 75. <laughs> 74. Seven, 74. So 75 on the top right hand side, uh, top area, right to 46 is locked in. And then 46 didn't stop there. 46 has managed to push them down, 74 down on this area as well. And now 74 didn't really stop there either. I mean, 46 didn't stop there either so if you look at this area the level 5 pass so 74 has managed to go into the next zone and have done defensive fortresses here and 45 from all the way down here remember how 45 was fighting 64 yeah. so we'll look at that a bit later but 45 has managed to come up who are allied with 74 and they're both trying to defend this area against 46 so technically 46 how many kingdoms did 46 fight 75 74 and now 45 as well that's three kingdoms what? so they, they're none of them are joke kingdoms all of them were imperium i mean like what yeah I, it's hard to believe they were little seedling kingdoms before <laughs> so one little kingdom well not little sorry my bad one imperium kingdom fighting three other imperium kingdoms now that's impressive now let's have a look at what's happening on this pass okay do you see any action I see action already. 46. What? That's a big ball. That's a big 46 ball. Yeah, and but in our other videos, balls are even bigger. No, no. Wait and see. So, see, <laughs> it's not a little ball anymore. So, that's a massive ball there. That's a massive ball there. It sort of looks like an, uh, uh, no, King Cobra. King Cobra, yeah. King Cobra coming in and taking a bite out of, what do we see? 45 forts burning. What? not a predator like a house <laughs> so 46 burning 45 here and 46 burning 74 up there as well so not only 74 is fighting three kingdoms uh, sorry not only 46 is fighting three kingdoms they're winning against three kingdoms I, i'm what I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say they're actually doing it quite comfortably because look at the field presence. So all that fighting hasn't deterred them from taking the field again versus two opponents. And they're happy about it. Look at that Khan emoji. And we can see this flag kind of going down. So today we may not see too many rallies. But, and this is the other thing, look at the Lohars. Every time you see one of the kingdoms dropping Lohars, that's how you know that they are surrendering pretty much. Uh, so even the fort strategy isn't working really against 46. You know, I, I caught a cold, so I may be making sounds with my noise so I can <laughs> free, free breathe. I breathe freely. Yeah, speaking of the noises, so guys, we're overseas at the moment. Um, as an as M mentioned before, we had a um, tragedy in the family. My dad passed away, M's grandfather. So me and M, we traveled overseas just by ourselves. So M doesn't have a, 
our mom here or our uh, little baby boy here is just me and them and where i have there are mosquitoes that are biting me it's it's not a easy life so we are going through quite a few things um, family affairs wise that's why the videos are a little inconsistent and the quality may be a little lower than usual as well yes saying but that we will try to we'll, fix that we'll try to do our best yes and we'll try to pick up doing videos um frequently again we did miss playing the game as well so we're slowly trying to get back to that as well now looking at the fight between 45 and 64 we did look 45 winning already and it does look like 45 has a bigger control and 64 is somewhat so not somewhat fully locked in and we do see a little bit of a 54 coming in above through the next zone and they're helping to lock in 64 now again 64 being locked in from the 54 side was definitely expected but on this side 45 has done a good job now 45 got drained by 64 so much and this is where 64 did such a good job of draining 45 that when 45 went above um, we are looking at the action few days late but it does look like 45 is not in full strength obviously so that does make 46's life a little easier when they're trying to fight against three kingdoms now looking towards the right 54 definitely owns the zone between them and 64 however this is one of the other critical areas 54 had this area completely under control they... and i want to say the big reveal mm -hmm. please you said everything yeah, yeah sure go for it 93 and 56 teamed up to defeat 54 56 has come in big time so as you can see 54 didn't uh, sorry 56 didn't get any action from 75 um at least any big action so 56 was quite fresh and they managed to come down and with 93 together they have managed to get 54 out of that area now this area is completely under 56 and 93 lockdown now if you scroll up all of that area again belongs to 93 and 56 and when you go up we had a look already 56 has completely surrounded 75 so 56 owns that area as well now to be honest rather than trying to hype up something that doesn't look like going to be any more big action we're going to be honest about it so as far as i am aware I'm pretty sure I'm actually checking it since we did the last video, which was a while ago. I think five, six, maybe even seven days ago. The KVK was alive back then. Now, if you guys have been following this, you probably know, but I'm looking at it for the first time with you guys together now, seven days later. And to me, this KVK is actually over. The reason why it's over is 46 has outplayed expectations and they're too dominant for the others to make a meaningful resistance on the left hand side i think 46 is going to win this kvk for the alliance including 56 and 46 definitely going to win this kvk on at this stage we can say definitely like even in the beginning you could kind of say that 46 and 56 combined was more powerful than 54 on the other side 54 was the most prominent probably was the most prominent kingdom on the other side and on this side you had 46 and 56 so yeah it was looking like it it was favoring that team but we never thought it will be by that much and from the looks of it yes it is by that much and i don't think on the right hand side 54 can 54 can definitely defeat 93 which which is what we saw initially now i don't know whether a fresh 54 was enough for a fresh 56 even in that five maybe 56 had a bit of an advantage but now a fresh 56 versus uh, some parts of 93 that's still alive 
versus a drained 54 i would have to say it has to go on the 56 side of things the fight now is this the last coverage of this kvk from our end probably yeah. not we'll still definitely keep an eye out on it and if there's any big action now that we're back on track with youtube and playing the game so we'll keep an eye if there's any big action we'll cover but this may end up being the last episode on this big kvk unless there's any big action coming up now we'll try to continue doing other coverage of other kvks and our usual videos but that'll come in the near future for now it's goodbye from ladders and um, and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button so that you never miss a video that is awesome and fun